France purposely engineered the travel chaos witnessed at Dover and Folkestone to punish Britain for quitting the EU, former Tory minister and Brexit stalwart Anne Widdicombe has claimed, Ms Widdicombe was speaking after the announcement of a new British-French task force aimed at preventing any repetition of the massive traffic queues at the ports last weekend. However, the former Brexit Party MEP was not confident French President Emmanuel Macron's government was serious about finding solutions. Dismissing suggestions that the disruption stemmed from Britain's decision to sever ties with Brussels, she told Express.co.uk, what it actually is, is the French trying to punish us for Brexit. It isnt Brexit itself and it never was. We could make the Northern Ireland deal work if the other side was willing. But they're not, they want to make things as hard as possible. So, therefore, the French just make sure they don't have enough people manning the checkpoints. Ms Widdicombe knows the area well, having served as the Tory MP for nearby Maidstone from 1987 until 2010. She said, it did get very hairy last weekend, people were sleeping in the cars for vast quantities of time. I blame the French for not having enough people on. They knew what was going to happen, and it's not the first time it's happened either. Speaking last Friday, Port of Dover Chief Executive Doug Bannister said French authorities had only provided half of the required staff needed at the border having earlier in the day declared a critical incident. In a joint statement issued yesterday, Phil Douglas, Director General of Border Force and Bridget Lafourcade, Deputy Director General at Police aux Frontières said the two countries were working closely to support the smooth flow of traffic. It comes after tens of thousands of families saw their cross-channel journeys ruined last weekend by gridlocked traffic and delays of several hours, blamed on a shortage of French border offices and a serious crash on the M20 coinciding with the school holidays.